Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chu and today we're going to be going over a four step approach for understanding Wonder Girls drum bounce. I don't want to do too much talking because this is a long video. Shout out to the comment winner who dropped the timestamps for the last long video. We're going to be doing the same thing in this video. The first person to comment the best timestamps after watching the entire tutorial is going to get every kit in my store plus the Chew Method bundle. All you have to do is drop the comment and if you're the winner, I'll hit you up on Instagram. The four steps of this tutorial are going to be laying down the foundation, which includes laying down a simple 808 and kick. Step two is going to be pouring the concrete, which just consists of basic drums. Step three is going to be building the frame of the house, which is adjusting the drums and then adding extra sounds to create that bounce. And then step four is going to be the decorations where we actually bring in the melody and spice up the 808s to really tell a story with the beat. Every drum sound used in this tutorial can be found in my centerfold drum kit, which you can get in the link in the description below. You can also do a lot of the same stuff with my free 14 drum kit, which is super fire. You can also find a link to that in the description below. Follow me on Instagram, join my Discord, and without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Peace. So the first step of building our house is going to be laying the foundation. Now, before I get into things, I want to say that we are going to be starting with the drums and we're not going to add the melody until the very end. I saw a tweet a couple of months ago from world renowned billboard platinum, multi-platinum, multi-time billboard producer for Travis Scott, Kanye West, Rihanna and the sorts, OZ who basically said he first put out a, qu a question on Twitter on this day and he said, what do you guys do first, melody or drums? And then he proceeded to say that I tried the drums first. I usually do drums first. Um, and this was really interesting to me because a lot of people, including me, have always said start with the melody. You know, it's intuitive to start with the melody. And then after getting a bunch of answers, he followed the tweet up later that day and said, you guys should try drums first, just try it. And I started to do this. I It was something that I did in the past and I did happen to get some good beats out of it, but I, I never did it because intuitively and based off of what the, com the producer community teaches people, you're supposed to start with your melody. So it was something that I was a little bit turned off from. But as soon as I saw this mega star say something like that, I was like, let me just do it. And I have gotten some of the best beats of my life over the last couple of months out of this DAW because of that little piece of advice that he dropped in this tweet. So that's what I wanna kinda of put you guys on today. Especially if you're more of a drum programmer and you struggle with melodies, because in this day and age, getting a fine melody is not hard, bro. Like there's a lot of, <laughs> there's, there's, there's millions of free loop kits with amazing loops. And if you, for some reason, don't wanna use someone else's loops, go to Looperman, pay for Splice, bro, Arcade, anything. Like getting melodies at this point, struggling with melodies at this point is almost like a choice. Um, you don't have to make your own melodies, and if you really do want to make your own melodies, it's not hard to learn how to make good melodies, man, even with free VSTs. But I've noticed that making the melody, trying to make the melody right off the bat, freezes a lot of producers, especially those guys that have that really hard drum bounce. So that's how we're going to be approaching building our house today. We're going to start with the drum bounce, and the melody will not come in until after the fact, and I'll show you how we'll do that in a second. So not too much more preface talking let's just get into it so the first thing we're going to do in terms of building our foundation is we're going to grab an 808 let's go with the centerfold drum kit because i love the ready 808 the boy wonder 808 we're going to open that up tune it to d oh, i don't even have my monitors on <laughs> okay so we're gonna tune it to D, D sharp because that's what it's always in. And we're just going to start. Let's see, I would like to go with 147 BPM. The song that Wonder Girl produced on Travis Scott's last project, which was No Bystanders on the Astral Project was in 147 BPM. And I really like that song a lot. So I really like to start with that BPM most of the times when I'm going for this Wonder Girl style of beats. So let's see, I like C sharp, probably the most C sharp minor. So let's do something like that. And before I even get started with anything else, let's adjust the envelope of our 808 so that we can control the links with the piano roll notes. So let's do. So you wanna start with something really simple. This might even be too complex to start off. Mm -hmm. 
I like to really just use that one root note and then come back and change it later, which we'll talk about in the fourth step of this process. There's something kind of funky. So honestly, I think that's good. Just something with a little bit of groove to it, a little bit of funk to it. And this pattern is basically just this. If I could show it to you, I'm gonna replicate it over so I can show you what I really did. Cause it looks complicated, but what it really is, is this. This is what it really is. The thing is though, I've made that pattern so many times that I found ways to start laying it down and adding variation before it's even complete. So this is like kind of like, I hear this particular pattern in a lot of Wonder Girl beats or I'll hear something kind of like this. Like the, the second part of it might fill out like this. something like this. Like that pattern, those particular patterns I hear in Wonder Girl beats so frequently. It's like, it's very, very consistent. So I've practiced it so many times that, and you can practice it so many times that you'll just get naturally good at laying down those types of patterns. We're gonna delete all that. Actually, well, yeah, I'm gonna fill it out like that, but I'm gonna copy it over first. Cause I, I actually like when I when it fills out like that. then I'll turn that into a slide. And if you're wondering about any of these 808 techniques that I'm using right now, I know I'm like kind of rushing through it. <clears throat> I actually just dropped an 808 tutorial. It was the last video that I dropped, so I'll link it up above like right now. But then you can also check it out in the description below or you can literally just go to the most recent tutorial that's not this one and you'll be able to see way more in depth about these 808 techniques because this is where a lot of the sauce and the bounce ends up coming from, especially on the back end, which we'll get into again in that later tip. So I'm very content with this 808 pattern. Very, 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 very content. The next thing we have to add in is the kick. So I'm just gonna use the good old uh, centerfold kick, super hard kick. And we're just gonna basically lay it down on just about every 808. It kind of adds a little bit of bounce when you don't have the kick hitting on every single 808. So let's see what that looks like. Sometimes I like to pitch my kick down, so I might do that here. I like that. Okay, there we go. So now we actually have our foundation laid down. I was getting a little bit ahead of myself. So now that we've dug out the ground, kind of laid down a wooden foundation, we've got to fill that empty space and wood foundation with some concrete. So step two is pouring the concrete. Now that is an analogy for adding in the basic drums. I'm talking snare, accent snares, open hats, hi hats, and just other perks. Now this is not gonna be complicated. We're gonna make it slightly more complicated on the back end. So at this point of the process, you do not wanna focus on complication. You wanna focus more on just laying things down. So that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna come add just a basic snare again, centerfold snare, solid, it never flops. So we're just gonna go with that. And at this point, I probably don't want the metronome anymore because I've got the bounce going. 
So accent snares will probably just come to perks at the center full perk, like. <laughs> open hat now something interesting that wonder girl does with open hats is she'll put them in places where people don't normally put them let's see which one i like i like this one so one place she puts them that i notice a lot of other producers don't put them is like she'll put them at the beginning of each four bar or four beat section so like <laughs> Yes, she sometimes put them puts them here, but a lot of producers also put it at the beginning of like the entire eight bar section. But like what she'll do is after the first four beats, she'll put it here where like almost nobody puts another drum sound. So instead of putting it like on the two beat or the three or the four beat, like people do something like this, which is hard or something like this, which is also hard. She'll do something like this. And it's just like, it's just super, super like different. And it adds like a different bounce. Cause it's like something people aren't expecting. And it gives artists that kind of like, it gives them like a, an extra pocket to hit. Cause that, that it just provides like that, that different type of bounce that people don't usually provide. So something I also like to do with my hi-hats or not my hi-hats, my open hats is control the envelope for these as well. Um, the same thing I would do for the 808s. So that like it can sound like it's getting cut off by the other perks. So that's another really cool thing that she does. And then I might just come in and add it like right here. Now, one thing I'm going to do that she does, too, is she'll add like kind of ear candy things. One of those things will be like either funky perks or perk loops. So I'm going to add a perk loop. I'm actually going to go to the blue bonnet drum kit for that, though. Cause it has one of my favorite uh, perk like open hat live hat loops ever so let's see drums let's do perk loops so i'm just gonna time stretch that to four and then adjust the pitch Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go back to the center pole drum kit. And then we're gonna add some hi-hats. So I've noticed she doesn't really complicate her hi-hats. I've noticed that in post-production, because Travis Scott likes those trippy hi-hats, they'll come back and change her hi-hats into something more complicated. But I noticed in her soul productions and kind of like when she's making a beat, that's not the main focus of her complication because she does a lot of other things in terms of using snares and perks to kind of like make the beat sound like, I don't know, more full without having to complicate the hi-hats too much. So that's what we're gonna do here. Turn off loop points. Always turn off loop points on your drums. I might add a little bit of a roll here. Like something like right here. I learned this, I learned this particular drum bounce from my boy Aton. Just something simple like this. He does this a lot in his beats. Or there was a time where he did it a lot in his beats and it's super hard. Just simple. I might randomize it. Oops. I might randomize it just to get some panning on the on the hi hats, get a little bit more bounce. And then I'm gonna add a few more accent snares, but I'm gonna go to the 14 drum kit to grab those. So let's see. Oh, I like that. So let's do something like this. Okay, so now we've got a pretty solid foundation and we poured the concrete and things sound good. 
now we're gonna get into kind of creating that energy and adding character into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is step three. The first part of that we're gonna do is step three, which is building the frame of our house. We've gotta build the wooden frame and start putting up the walls. So the way we're gonna do that <clears throat> is that we're going to start taking away some different perks and different drums to add space and bounce to the beat. So the first place that I usually like to do that, especially if I have some like live hats or some other kind of ambient ear candy going on is that I will actually start taking out a lot of different hi-hats in different places. This is one of my favorite ways to do this. Just something like this. And I might even lower the volume of this. And then I'll just start removing other subtle things like, let's see, some snares for one. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now I'm getting excited. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can tweak the 808 just a little bit to add some more, how can I say the space, spacing. So let's maybe do this for the first one. could be co more complex for that second ad. Let me just try something real quick. We'll see how that sounds later. I might take it out. So I'm going to actually add some snares back in, but this one will be a little bit more quiet. More. There we go. And then I'll just have this hit after every first kick, kind of in that little pocket, that one and a half beat before it gets to the two. It's another common producer bounce and Wonder Girl implements it a lot. So, and then I'll probably layer this snare because I want that like last one to be accented when the kick hits on that. Um, one beat where it usually doesn't hit in trap beats. Or I mean the 808. Yeah, I like that. Instead of just the perk, it'll sound more bouncy like that. Okay, so now our entire house has basically been built. The house is done, the beat technically is done. So now we can get into decorating the house, which is the most fun part, especially when you did the work properly. Bro, just smacking in that melody and then tweaking the 808 for different sections is literally the best part of this process. It's so rewarding, especially when you get like a really good bounce like this that you like, bro. At, at least for me, maybe it's different for other people, but man, I'm really happy OZ put me on this tip because it has changed my beat making life, bro. I'm serious. So. <laughs> You can hear me fucking like breathing heavy and shit, getting excited. So I'm gonna find the Annihilate uh, sample pack. Oh, I, I spelled Annihilate wrong, so that's what I get. This is a free loop kit made by my boy Millie One. It's got like the best fucking loops for this type of vibe, just like dark melodic trap loops bro just get this get this loop pack man it's not even a loop pack it's a whole sample pack bro it's got drums and bass too just get it man just go download it literally right now but yeah i'm just gonna grab a loop from here it's gonna be easy watch to make sure the 808 fits, right? So first of all, I'm gonna turn it up. And then 
from there, let's go ahead and create our 808 pattern and make it slightly more melodic. Gonna split the pattern really quickly so that I can create a second 808 pattern and that's what Wonder Girl likes to do a lot she'll she'll like kind of create a story with her beats by using 808 variation so let's do something like that bring this down so for this first pattern this is one is, is gonna be the one that's different I'm just gonna make it a little bit more simple so I probably don't want all that action Like, bro, bro, come on, man. This shit is, God, this shit is crazy, bro. You see how simple that is? So basically, you can do this right now. You can literally go create your own drum bounce, just like we just did. Create something fire, bro. Take OZ's advice, and then you have no excuse in terms of struggling with the melody. Because I get if you want to make your own melody, but, like, production is about collaboration at this point. Production is about collaboration at this point especially in the 21st century bro you have a whole squad of people who want to work with you to create hits if you suck at making melodies but you got good drum bounce stop frustrating yourself go get some fire loops from your boy millie one who literally made them for you so you could get hits and let's blow up together like stop the stop stop it stop it stop it like seriously stop it like it, it doesn't have to be as complicated as you think bro especially if you're one of these dudes that's got hard drum bounce just focus on what you can do good that's what i always did i make decent melodies but my my forte is drum bounce 100 so i've always taken advantage of that you know jazz omen is one of my favorite collaborators ever that dude has helped me make a lot of money dude clay is another guy i work with heavy uh vb got heat bro cody freak everybody bro collaboration is key collaboration is key and then consistency is key so if you practice this and use collaboration to your advantage or even if you're not collaborating collaborating with the melodies but just preventing yourself from frustrating things you know in the front end we're trying to figure out like what kind of key your melody is going to be in or whatever the fuck else shit people you know confuse themselves with then you don't have to really you can really avoid those things like beat block and, you know all those like kind of lack feelings of lack of creativity that a lot of producers suffer from but it's simply because you know they're stuck on one part of the beat making process not necessarily that they can't figure out the whole thing so i mean i honestly i think this is one of my most valuable tutorials that i ever created because this is a secret that i didn't even really want to share with people because i'm kind of scared that a lot of people are going to figure it out and, you know like but honestly it's not even like that like you're supposed to just spread knowledge and help people get better so like i really really think like if you heed this information and advice you're gonna start making some of the hardest beats of your life and it doesn't even have to be just for like wonder girl type beats you can literally use this technique for any genre bro any genre so like just try it i'm telling you try the drums first do what oz said just try the drums first just try it if you want to know i'm gonna go ahead and mix this beat for the outro so you guys can hear it because i actually think it's super hard and i'm probably gonna drop it on my second channel today happy memorial day by the way but if you guys want to know like about the mixing process or more in depth about the 808 like kind of because i know that's probably one of the more interesting parts 
um definitely check out some of my my, my previous <laughs> definitely check out some of my previous tutorials that i've dropped recently like i dropped a stock fl studio mixing tutorial like two weekends ago and then just this past weekend a couple of days ago i dropped a fully loaded 808 tutorial plus i've got some 808 tutorials from the past with like 400,000 views total so I mean, I've got a lot of information for you to figure out this entire process. And then if you want more in-depth understanding of drum bounce, I've also got a couple of tutorials, which I will link below as well. But other than that, I don't want to do too much more talking for this outro. I know it's probably another long video, so I hope you guys get crazy value out of this. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. If you're from the U.S., have an amazing Memorial Day. If you're a veteran or if someone in your family is a veteran or, you know, someone in your family has lost their life in service, I have an I have such an immense appreciation for you because you protect the civil liberties that I enjoy every every day or your family members protect the civil liberties or they have protected the civil liberties that I enjoy every every day and that I definitely take for granted most of the time so blessings to all United States citizens I love you guys I love my country and I just hope you have an amazing day I love you and I'll see you soon peace Look at you, aren't you?